All right, go ahead. Hello, everybody. This is Terry Defoe. Been with you for 21 years on Cult Radio, and now we have a family of five. I'm also at Videoscope Magazine for those of you that know me there. Family of five stations. Yeah, five stations. I was like, we don't have five children. We have five (laughs) stations. They are our children. They are. But uh, I wanted to give you an update. Usually we're on Saturday nights uh, with the show with Tiffany and I, Craig, live. Of course, the station's on 24-7, 365 days a year. But uh, to those of you that's been following me, you know that six months ago, uh, I had told you and Tiffany had told you in updates after she got back to the hospital before I got released. She had told you way before the six months point that I talked to you from when I'd gotten home. But uh, I had two corners of cancer. Uh, one was lymphoma, which was the one that's the dangerous one that can kill you. But luckily enough, it's the most treatable cancer there is. They do have a cure for it. Not too long ago, around, around uh, the same time that I uh, caught lymphoma, Jade Fonda got cured of lymphoma and is still cancer free. Uh, Judy Tanuna did not have lymphoma. She had a worse cancer, but she lost her battle. She said she's going to go to kick ass. Now she's up there in heaven helping others to kick ass when they're scared. Uh, six months ago, and, and I didn't mean to say it was six months ago that I first started talking to you. I guess I talked to you before that was wrong. Six months ago, I gave you an update, and they cured the lymphoma. I was cancer-free. I still had the ganglioma tumor on this side. That is not even sometimes called a tumor. Oh, it's it a is, tumor. It's well, just... I meant it's yeah. not a cancer. It's not always called a cancer. It is a tumor, but they don't always call it cancer. Right. Uh, so far, they still don't know it's cancer. It's just a tumor that's taken up space, which is why I have to have the tracheotomy, uh, because this is why I can't breathe. This is why I had to have oxygen. This is why I've been on oxygen for 10 years. You all recall when I come on oxygen, if you're a long time listener, I had a biopsy one time where I wound up sound like uh, Randy Macho Man Savage. Uh, and it was very hard to do interviews and everything. And I wound up getting the oxygen and got my voice back. And everything was cool. And at no time during that period, which was 20 some years, like 21. I had this ganglion and tumor. 21 years ago, 21 yeah. 21 years. Everything's 21 years. Yeah. But on the year for 21 years and had a tumor for 21 years. I guess it came with starting the stations. I don't know. But uh, he, for that entire time, he did not know what was cancer or not. They just thought it was a tumor <sighs> and they said, in fact, it was benign. But that was when I had an open biopsy and they took a piece of the, the tumor out and they said it was not cancerous. That it was not cancer. It was benign. So in that 20 some years, I never went back and checked because they told me I didn't have to. They were stupid and they were wrong. And I was wrong for listening to them because not all hospitals and not all doctors know everything, don't think they do, don't trust them, get a second opinion because they don't know. So anyway, we've been doing Craig for 21 years, the same amount of time that. I got the ganglion over to her over here, which is still there. And they're in the process of checking it out. And I came to USC Medical Center. You'll know I'm at USC because this is a USC elephant. It is not their mascot. Their mascot is a Trojan, but they didn't want to make Trojan condom males. <laughs> they're a Trojan man. That's not really their ascot. Their mascot is like, oh, you people yell at me that is a Trojan fan. They, it they is. Got this Roman guy. It's a, it is, he's a Trojan from yeah, the Trojan, Trojan War. The he's Trojan a he's an, a horse. Well, there's a Trojan horse, but he's he from the like, Trojan like War. A guy from Rome, right? Yeah. Like a gladiator. Yes. And he comes running out because they don't want to have their mascot be a condom man, you know, Trojan man. So this is the Trojan. Elephant. Elephant. 
Tony Biak. I keep thinking he's a mouse. He's an elephant. He's an elephant. So anyway, I come to USC because you go, I have to come back to make sure the cancer didn't come back. And then I got a second doctor now that's taking care of the ganglioma, which they never said was cancer. So I'm here and I'm getting my appointment on Monday. And I was going to do my, I was there for two doctors. I was there for him, Dr. Shu, to take care of this. And then also for Dr. Tupley, which was a guy that cured the uh, lymphoma, I was cancer free for six months. Really cancer free because nobody ever said it's cancer. This was gone. He had said it's gone because the chemo took it out. So I'm there to see Dr. Shu, just to meet him, and he was checking up on the shingles that I was just in the hospital a couple weeks ago at a different hospital. And I was there to take body scans to make sure the lymphoma didn't come back for Dr. Tupley. I wasn't even out of radiology because I had a blood test there. And Dr. Shu calls up and says, you're not leaving, you're going back to the hospital. Well, he didn't say it that way. Well, that's <laughs> what it was. I'm just saying, he's nice. He's very nice. He's going to be a nice one. But he, he said, that I would only have to be there till Tuesday. Well, this is Saturday. <laughs> they love me. This is the way it goes. I never go to a hospital that I'm there, there like a fucking month or something. I, I, I'm going to have to move the studio equipment in here. Okay? Because it's ridiculous. Because he said that my blood, my charts are way off. That day, I couldn't walk. I had to be lifted with, with a lift in the hospital because I suddenly lost my strength. My strength went down to zero. And this is why, because I've been walking for six months. Well, not the full six months, but at least the last. No, you've been walking for over six months. Okay, so it's been six months. Because it's been since. It's all very. Confusing. It was January when we started getting the alleyway put in. Yeah, thank you. So, anyway. He tells me that's why I couldn't walk. Because my calcium level is off, and your calcium is what your strength is. So he said I would be there one day. It's not one day, it's now Saturday. That would have been Tuesday, it's now Saturday. So they took me in. Hope this isn't too long and boring for you. And they had to take a needle, long flat needle, stick it in the side of my neck and find lymph nodes and clip them off and bring them outside for miles. Now the needle goes into your neck and it's very bizarre. I want to share this with you. I don't want to gross you out if, you, if you're eating stuff. When the needle goes in your neck, I guess because it's flat and thin, you hear a sound like you're pushing or popping leather. Maybe I'm leathery. I don't know. But it made this loud pop. And then the needle is actually the clippers, too. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at a scope so you can see inside your neck. And he's clipping these, and it's really loud. It's clip, clip. It's disgusting. If I had watched all the movies I watched, the horror films, I found it entirely enjoyable. <laughs> it, it was fascinating. So they, they did the test on the lymph nodes. And the, uh, the lymph hole was back. So I won the first battle. I beat a sass in honor of Judy Tenuta. And now I'm going in and I'm fighting again. We're going to go uh, uh, the, the uh, drug again I take. What do you call that? Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy again. And I'm going to kick his ass again for, for Jane Bond. Uh, they're, I'm really early at this. They're thinking it's going to be good. There's nothing negative. They're, they're very positive I'm going to be cured. Because I'm in way better shape than I was the first time I fought. First time I fought, I was in a, a coma. Other than having a little weakness of walking, I'm way better health than I was the first time. And if I beat it once, why can't I beat it again? 
So we start over. You you can tell I'm a little bitter, okay? I was only cancer free for six months. Give me a fucking break. It, it's got it in for me. It's a monster. These are the real monsters. Not the monsters that we enjoy in the spring. These illnesses, cancer, and stuff that should have been cured by now. Is the real monsters. Don't smoke, although it's probably not. But did I never smoked, but I was around smokers. Do everything you can. Because cancer's a bitch. And so is shingles. Get a shingles test. But luckily, they're telling me they're keeping me long enough just to get my first chemo treatment. Then they're going to send me home. I shouldn't have to be here as long as I was the last time. And then we can do the live shows at home again. So it's not going to be that the live show is going to be down. Uh, we're not on tonight, as you know. I think it's already time to be on. Yeah, it's 7.37. Yeah. But we're going to be doing the show either from the living room or from the studio. I may back off on guests again because of what, you know, it, it, this is hard going through this with chemo and everything. Luckily, I can handle chemo pretty good so far. I guess they're stronger chemo. I haven't lost my hair or nothing. And I don't really get that sick except for nice ones, which I had one last night. You know, the thing is, Tiffany, did we not know that it come back before mm -hmm. he told us? Yeah, we did. Why is that? Um, we were starting to see things, uh, symptoms, early sign symptoms that were showing up around the house, um, such as Terry was more tired he was sleeping more he was groggier longer after he woke up um he was getting night sweats at home um he was having he was still able to stand and walk but he was having more trouble with standing and walking for long periods of time or sitting up for long periods of time um so we started to see the early onset symptoms that we had seen last year but we ignored because we thought oh he's just tired or he's just got a flu it'll go away um, so we had both kind of had the inclination, had the intuition, but we didn't want to say it because we didn't want to, you know, give it power. Um, so we both kind of thought it, but we didn't say it, but neither one of us were surprised. And when I was now cancer free, you remember, I posted a video and I was crying and carrying on. And I want to cry and carry on again. Because I'm tired of being up here pissing in a bottle, you know, and all the fun things like that. I mean, there are some perks today. I had a, a gorgeous young woman touching my ass. Be careful. The nurse could come in at any time. They can. And in, in the door, the door right behind Terry, right there. That's yeah. where they'll come in. I'm, I'm still. He's still Terry. I'm still me. <laughs> okay. But I really, you know, I got through it last time, you guys. Send me your prayers. Give me your comments. Oh, and by the way, any of my celebrity friends that I've had on the show, uh, it would be nice if you could come here. I'm at uh, USC in California. I'm sure you know where that is. You probably live by me. Reach, here. if you want to come visit, reach out to me, uh, either on Messenger or email or my cell phone number, which you have. And I can give you uh, the address and the room number. I would love to see everybody except for Andy Cott. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. Yeah. I, I'd even let the, the guy come from uh, uh, Streets of Fire. But, you know, he'll probably say things that's not nice. But that's all right. But, yeah. No, if, if any of you would like to come. It would be great. We can keep it private. We won't put it on, you know, Facebook or no. It'd be very nice to see any of you. I'm not going to say names. I don't want to make you You don't want to guilt people? Huh? Yeah, you don't want to guilt people. I don't want to guilt people. <laughs> but it'd be nice. I know definitely there's some that we've had on. They're on the East Coast. They can't that would come. Yeah. But those of you on the West Coast, I, I live. I'm a resident of L.A. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I want to get out of this town as soon as I can. It's dangerous and crazy. But I just want to give you an update. Uh, I'm not cancer-free anymore. But he will be. I will be. 
And uh, because of what it is, our GoFundMe is still open. And anything you have will be appreciated. I, I can't believe people have given three times, four times. But anything will be appreciated. And we're going to put the link uh, below this video. So have a good night. And hopefully in a week or two, we'll be back on Craig Live. All right. Good night, everyone. I love you.